Cystic fibrosis is a progressive genetic disease that um, it affects the lungs and a whole bunch of other organ systems and it causes thick mucus to build up in the lungs which ultimately leads to life-threatening lung infections. I have pretty severe disease. I am considered advanced stage based on my lung function. She was nine weeks old and, and we got the diagnosis. We didn't know anything about CF and we were told not to read anything because anything that we would read would be devastating. There were a few things that we would be more cautious about or protect her from, but she lived a very normal life. And over the years, her baseline has drifted down. A couple years after I graduated from college, I had a sudden, really severe onset of CF-related diabetes and I lost a lot of lung function that was unrecoverable. I think it kind of just crystallized my priorities in the sense that having a close family was really important to me. Emily is so such a strong presence in all of our lives every single day. She just has so much to teach all of us. She gives so much and she's a force for everyone. She's a force for her friends. She's a force for her siblings. She's a force for me. If news were to come that you know, her lung function is, has dropped or something like that, it would be such a you know, like shot in my stomach. I can never imagine like that. Can't go there. Don't ever want to. Emily was getting sicker. We can see her getting sicker. And like, we have an obligation to do something about it. The CF Foundation is focused on the 90%, but you know, Emily's entourage recognizes that there are 6% of people who, who won't benefit from that and you know, deserve their own lifesaver. We literally sat around this living room to, uh, and we just talked, like, what can we do? And we were convinced that Emily's story could touch people. From the very beginning, our goal was always to draw on the power of communities to, to raise awareness and raise funds for CF research. It's been amazing how responsive people have been. People want to do good things, they want to help. And so we were aiming to raise um, $50,000, you know, through the whole campaign. So far as an organization, we have raised $515,000. There's Emily and people like Emily who have so much to contribute to this world and to our lives, and they're running out of time. We want people to become ambassadors of our message of Emily's story. There's a finish line in reach. We can see, we can see the end of the road. We can see a cure. We want everyone with CF to be able to, to live well and live long and have access to the treatment that let them do that. Now we feel like we're, we're racing, and, and, and time is, is, is our 10-7. Emily's entourage is our only hope. We're going to keep fighting until there's a cure, uh, not only just for Emily, but for everyone with CF. And it's research that stands in between us and the end line, and it's money that propels research. We have a website, a Facebook page, a Twitter, and an Instagram. And if you join any of these, you'll hear about our events, and you'll hear about how you can donate. I don't think we want to stop until there is no need to keep fundraising.